Look after them, even if it is difficult. Take care of them. One day if your father's passed on, where does the duty go? The duty goes to the sons, primarily. The sons need to take care of their mother. Now what's the problem? None of the wives want that mother to come and stay with, the, with them. It happens. Well, in that particular case, can you work something out? Do you have enough in terms of means to keep her slightly separately, but very nearby so that you can help and keep someone a helping hand or someone who can cook and clean for her and so on? If you can, it's your duty. Never mind what the rest of your nuclear family says. That is your mother. My beloved sons, if you run away from the duty of looking after your mother because of your wives, I wonder what you're going to tell Allah. I wonder what you're going to tell Allah. When Allah says, but I chose her to be your mother. You didn't choose her. I knew what was going to happen. Part of your challenge. Navigate through it. No problem. Pray. Pray every day. Cry to Allah. Oh Allah, help me. Open my doors. Talk to your mom. Say, look, you know what? Make it easy for me. Please go easy on my wife so that at least they feel like talking to you. At least they feel like communicating with you. How you're operating, they wouldn't even like to see you. You're making it hard for me. So go and talk to her in a respectful way. But solve your problem. Come on. You know, astaghfirullah, sorry to give you such a haram example. But when youngsters are dating, they go out of their way to convince this girl that they are the right person for them to date. And they say whatever needs to be heard to make sure they get her to where they want her to be. You want to marry someone, you go out of your way to convert. For a haram, you want to go and lie and deceive and cheat to get something exactly where you want. Don't come and tell me you don't have enough brains for the halal to come and convince regarding your own mother and your wife. You have to apply your brains and you have to ask Allah's help and go for it. But you have to look after your mother. Come what may. It doesn't have to be right within your own home and circle, but very nearby if possible. Sometimes you have sons and daughters and the sons, none of them want the mother to look after her. What happens? Well, then the husbands of the daughters, although it is not their primary duty, but if you love your wife enough and you really want Jannah, your duty is to look after widows and orphans that are random, not even related to you. Imagine what reward you're going to get to look after a widow who's actually related to the love of your life. Allah.